Aloha and welcome back. I'm Fade Panther and this is Daydreaming Derpy and things have gotten really heavy. <laughs> She even comes with her own. Smarty Pants was a male from what the show portrayed it as, but whatever. She even comes with her own notebook and quill for when you want to pretend she's doing her own work. Wait, no. This might be a direct quote from a thing and I was just wrong. Wait, you got some. Who wants to play with her first? <laughs> this was the the point in which Twilight lost her mind and tried to get everybody to have a friendship problem so she could solve it. What is this magic dust? Okay. Smarty Pants is now level 3. Uh, she's great. Yeah, great. I really like her main. Okay, that, that completes the story. Still don't see a way out. If you don't mind me asking earlier, were those your memories? Nod. Uh, it must have been horrible to be turned down like that. Never had a smarty pants doll growing up. Ponies like me never really got new toys every heart warming the eve. Something about quills that came with you being too sharp for danger prone fillies like me. Thought we were going to work on that smile. Okay. 
all kid, all kids grow out of their toys eventually, and sometimes things won't always be the same when they come back to them. But if the foals out there, the ones that had a doll like you before, could see you now moving and learning on your own, I think they'd be happy for you. Oops, Luna stole my other one. Oh well. There it is. I know exactly where I need to go. Sorry, I forgot that I was YouTubing. Why isn't she waking up? I'm sensing magic. Dark magic. It's no doubt the work of the Tanibus. Miss Derpy, we'll do everything in our power to find your daughter in the dream realm. Rest assured. Thank you. We should go as soon as we can. Sorry, Derpy, but you need to let us handle this. Luna? She's all I have. You can't expect me to sit and uh, sit by and do nothing. 
Kirby, there's something you should know. You've been asleep for weeks now. What about Derby? I'm gonna pick up my tea and I'll pick up these two. That's one of the reasons why. We've been taking care of both Dinky and you all this time. Don't worry. Your employers have been notified as well. At first, we didn't know if it was the Tanibus. Tanibus is doing until last night. Princess Luna and Princess Celestia had told us about the Tanibus and called everyone over to see if we could find you in your dreams. But we found the Tanibus instead. Please understand, the last thing we want to do is bring you back to the, the Tanibus again. We couldn't stand losing you a second time. Derby, you know you can trust us. It's not that I don't trust you, it's just I'm not afraid of the ten of us. There's more to do that than just our nightmares. Shows you your fears and tries to smother you with them. So that's what I'm truly afraid of, what Drinky might fear. I've conquered my fears, but will how will I know if she's conquered hers? Not knowing that is something I may never be able to live with. Well, Princess Luna? Sounds like a pony that has faced her fears. Looks like it's time for a second joint mission, huh? We'll be here to watch over Dinky. You should go get prepared and take care of any unfinished business before we start. Gotcha.
basically all the jobs that I've been doing. Thank you for call coming over on such short notice. So Dinky just found her like that? How long has she been asleep? She... I had just seen her yesterday. I can only assume that it's been the case for an entire day. Can't we just take her to the hospital? The princesses just sent a message saying to stay put. They're on the way right now. That sucks. Velter with jobs and dinky every now and then, so I can be here most nights, but I'm going to need some help. We'll help as much as we can. I've also got her file at my office. I'll take care of her unfinished business matters and contact our employers about the situation. I'll help organize. Hi, uh, didn't see you there. It's getting a little too professional in here, in there for me. I just had to step out. So, what are you doing with the lights off? Oh, I'll get... No? Let me... There you go, much better. It's kind of weird seeing her like this. You knew my mom? Yeah, well... It's so really the first time meeting her like this. What do you mean? Sorry, it's a bit of a long story. So, champ? Heard that you read Daring Do. Um, yeah, I do. I haven't j finished all the books yet. Mom was going to rent me the rest of them for Harvard's War thing. But the library burned down earlier this year. Mm. I guess I can't go into spoiler talk then. Is she going to be alright? I don't know. Listen. This all must be sudden for you, but you should know that you're not alone in this, so don't have to feel awkward around us. You're exactly where you need to be. Thanks. Um, ma'am? Just call me Moon Dancer. Well, 
little culture and never hurt anybody. Hey, Dave. They said we're out of pay fries. I don't. Don't shout across the room. But ask if they have chips. I'd like to just go home after this, if that's okay. Be such a shame if you missed out. Did you have plans later? No, not really. I just don't want to charge money to worry too much. Okay, no show then. What do you usually do for fun? What do you mean? You know, your passions, your dreams. You may not have a cutie mark, but you must have something you're interested in. I'm not sure. I really don't think about that so often. Dear? Final? What in Crestia did you order for us? Well, they didn't have what we usually get, so I thought we could try something new. <laughs> the last thing I wanted to do was taste test unfamiliar food. Come on, I'm sure Dinky will really... Say that you dream about the food you grow to love, the more, the more than the same, the old food you eat every day. What? Besides, you dream about the food you grow to love, more than the same, you old food you eat every day. That, that hurts my head. Cool, then it must not happen too often. Because that didn't make any sense. There's... Mm. Okay, cool. Let me go heal up, get that final memory, and then final leg of the race.
Oops. There goes Skulu. Okay, last memory. So how was your day at school, Dirt and Dinky? It was fine. Your finest. Oh, I know not every Philly can come home to an act uh, an exclusive royal sister's night out. But you shouldn't feel uncomfortable while we're here. We're your guests after all. We just finished the duties for the night, so Dinky. What would you like for supper? What do you and your mother usually have for dinner? Usually muffins, sometimes leftovers from the diner when she works there at uh, the late shift. We don't really cook that often. Mm. So maybe you could do something more healthy. Or we could use... <laughs> Take out, sister. That's the furthest thing from healthy she could eat. What's the point of being healthy when your food barely has any taste? You can take a break from your diet one night. Well, I seem to recall a certain somebody, uh, pony taking advantage of the royal catering service every night for the past year. And who was the pony who told me of the wonders of catering service? Would be fried. I'm actually not that hungry. I'll be okay for tonight. Forgive us, Dinky. My sister and I are just a small, had a small disagreement. It's your decision. Did she eat yet? You mean, oh, I believe her, we had special food, food prepared, prepared for her. It'll probably sustain her considering her condition. I don't think she's been fed yet though. Take care of that now? Of course we can. Maybe we should cook something special. Care to show us around the kitchen, Dinky? Dinky? Um, yeah. Sure. Alright. Last heal. It sounds like I'm going in alone. breakfast. Come on out. I know you're awake, young mare. Not hungry. You know very well I can't send you off to school on an empty stomach. Dinky, we don't have time for this. I have to go to the office soon. I, take, I can take care of things here. Go ahead. I know you can, but that doesn't mean I should let you. Your mother would lose it if she found out you were skipping meals. But never mind how I know that. You need to take care of yourself. Do you remember when your mother first invited me over? Our deal? I'll take care of her out there if you take care of her in here. Come out, Dinky. Please. Now, now how will you go to school like that? That's not very professional of you. Oh dear. Um, all right. Okay, you're safe.
You're not her. What? You're just another one of those fakes. Thank you. It's the real me. Please, calm down. Fucking... Okay.
at all. I'm sorry for not believing in you. Let's go home. Welcome back. I wanted to say what were you thinking? weren't waking up. No pony, no pony knew what happened to you. The only thing I could do. What you did was stupid. I know. Sometimes I have these dreams about you. I fly around the space landing on clouds. I see my classmates sometimes too. You remember? One day, you weren't in my dreams anymore. When I woke up, you were still sleeping. I tried to wake you, but you didn't move. And that was when the Tanibus. So I thought, what if you were still out there in my dreams? And I was able to find you. You know the rest. Dingy, what possessed you to give yourself up like that? What made you think that taking my place meant saving me? It's not right that you have to work as hard as you do. It's not right that you keep getting fired for your mistakes. It's not right that every pony judges you because of who you are. I'm not normal. Mom? I'm not normal. I've known, all, uh, known that all my life. I can do anything and everything if I put my mind to it. I've known that all my life, but I've never believed it. I know about my reputation, but I can't change what ponies think of me. That's my lot in life, not yours. I understand how you feel. Well, it's hard enough to deal hard enough dealing with myself. I didn't expect my child to be as stubborn as me. I'm not that stubborn. Straight from the horse's mouth. There was a time I was going to be replaced. It was out of my hooves. I felt like nothing I did was right. That I wasn't right. So what happened? This is the first time that she spoke, except it wasn't a she, it was a he. Well, life went on, and I kept making mistakes. But that didn't stop me from being responsible. Sure, I didn't really believe in myself. This is not from the show. It was like somebody somewhere was rooting for me. 
They saw something in me I couldn't. And I didn't want to disappoint them. Sounds like something you'd say. Every pony is wanting to see you outside. They're waiting to see us. Better not keep them waiting. And that is the fan game, Daydreaming Derby. Ah, here we go. Mother 3, Earthbound, Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing, Finks, blah, blah, da, 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 be, be and Puppy Cat, Sonic Adventure, Michael Jackson Genesis Remix. That's what it was. Pick up pieces, shot in black, mirror on the moon, blah, 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 script. A <laughs> super Rainbow Dash idea. Unofficial, all rights go. Hmm, Portetto. Give these people some love. They deserve it. Yes. Now I can go back, grind, and I'm not doing that. I'm wondering if I can go in here. I can. I've done all I wanted to do. And for that, I hope you all enjoyed the last two extended long episodes. Um, I probably should have cut these two in half and made an additional episode to finish this all out. But this game was a little deceptive on how it was going to end. That said, I enjoyed this. The experience overall. There was a couple of nitpicks here and there. Some things were annoying. Some things were cool. A lot of things were nostalgic. Um, and the show has ended, but that doesn't mean your love for it has to. If you enjoyed this, I'm sure there's tons of other YouTubers who are playing either this game or other games. Make sure to give them some stuff like that. I don't care about anything else except for you guys enjoying what you see and knowing that all that's said and done at the, at the end of the day, all I do is to make sure you guys have something to watch, something to enjoy, and don't get too into what I have to say. Because I realize my opinion is my opinion, and not yours. And our opinions may not mesh. But that's fine. That's life. That's how it all goes. When you start ignoring that, you start making trouble where it doesn't need to be. Alright. My clot's over. I hope you all enjoyed the game. I hope you all had a great night. Great week great year. Despite all that's happening, staying positive is nice, but being positive is better. Positive thinking can only get you so far. At the end of the day, understand that everybody's got to cry at some point. It's the nature of things. Even the planet does it. So, that said, I hope you all have a fantastic time. Be safe, stay safe, and a little more.